Okay, what is up guys? Today we are gonna be doing a towing test and this is Grant, not Spencer. You're viewing Grant's screen, Spencer. This will not be multiplayer, Spencer will not be with us. Um there's many reasons why he's not with us for just for this video. We got like so many I don't know, mods are screwing up our computer stuff. We got like so many computer problems, computer issues, and so it's just me. I'm literally like homeless. I feel like I'm homeless with the computer. I'm literally borrowing my room roommate's computer to record a video and stuff. So I'm sitting on a couch with a wireless keyboard and looking off a TV screen, uh, hooked up to the TV screen with a mouse just on my lap. It's like so awkward right now, but whatever. We're going to get going. I think I can do it. Um, so we got our Dodge Cummins. We do not have a Ford Power Stroke or Chevy Duramax, but we are going to get it. Not right now, though, because um, I've noticed that when I have like tons of mods in the game at once, it really bring, brings down the frame rate and makes the game all laggy. So I'm going to be buying and selling them when we're testing them. So first, like the first thing, we'll load this trailer up and then we'll uh, test out the Dodge Cummins. And then we'll, un then we'll unhook the trailer by the Ford Power Stroke, test that out, and then unhook the trailer by the Chevy Duramax, test that out. So that's what we're going to be doing. I, and I got half of the trailer loaded. I want to show you guys how I'm loading it and stuff because it seemed kind of fun actually loading it. I like using this little JCB. And I actually don't mind sitting on the couch. It feels really comfortable. I'm just literally sitting on the couch with the keyboard and wireless mouse. It's, it's pretty sweet. Um, but we're going to be grab grabbing these and just moving them back over. There we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, go up oh, there. Right there. And last time me and Spencer tried to record this tonight, it was going to be a multiplayer video. And last time we had issues with not being able to strap it down. But now that I throw it out, we're able to strap it down. Um, but we did what we did last night is we just threw a log over top and then threw the straps over because this is like, I don't know, it'll able, it's able to strap logs down but like nothing else. But although the pallet straps are working now, so uh, I think it'll work out good and we may even be able to fit another pallet on there. Um, yeah, we got we definitely gotta do first person view. Oh, oh shoot, grab it right. There we go. We got it. Oh, God. The back end is flying up a little bit, but it's fine. We kind of... Here, let's kind of shake the pallet down. Come on. Oh, God. We are tipping. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Back her up. Slowly, 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 slowly. So, I noticed some guy in the comment section complained about how the skid steers don't have, like, a zero turn radius, which... Uh, yeah, I don't like that either, but trust me. These skid steers are really freaking good for farming simulator, and I'm... <sighs> I mean, it would be nice to have a zero turn radius, but I'm not going to uh, complain too much because these are some awesome skid loaders. And, I don't know. It, it, it's fine for me. I, I, I'm able to maneuver it fine. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of push these together. Kind of got one hanging off the back. I'll, I'll kind of see if we can push them up. And these are just liquid uh, tanks, but there's some weight to put on the trailer. I was trying to figure out what would be the best. That's probably good. And then I could stack another one on, but I think we're good. I think we're good. This is going to be a ton of weight, and we're going to do a hill climb challenge. If you guys don't know what the map this is, this is the FDR logging map. I should put it in the description. Um, yeah. And also, I may have some news in the next video about the server. I think I do. Uh, a server for all of us to play on. I'm going to share the details next uh, next game. So right now, I'm just putting down the straps. Got the straps down. And perfect. And now I'm just going to jump in the comments, and we're going to do a tow and test this freaking beast comments. Okay, guys, so let me actually go to something. Let's go to the cars, check them out, and we have a F-350 Keen Ranch, okay? This is like a 2017 version. This is a 2016 High Country Chevy, but these two are going up against a, like a 2000 or 97, 98, whatever years they made this second gen Cummins. Um, the reason is because I do not have... A Dodge Cummins that works, or that like a brand new Dodge Cummins. So I thought this would probably be the best idea, but they're all diesels. They're all diesels. That's what matters. Second gen is known to be a really freaking good truck. A lot of you guys who are uh, who uh, worship diesels type of thing uh, kind of know about second gens and the 5.9 Cummins, um, which I I've never, I don't think I've ever drove a diesel in my life honestly. So I, I don't know too much about diesels. I try to learn as much as I can, but uh, we got our Dodge Cummins and. We're going to put this up to the test against some uh, almost brand new trucks. Which, power-wise, I think I think power's around there, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see how this goes. It's definitely, you can definitely, like, this truck is not taking off at all here. Actually, what I want to do is I want to show you guys. So, I was full throttle there. I want to unhook this. And now I want to go full throttle. 
like you could definitely tell something was there a uh, huge load was there so that those liquid tanks much must weigh a lot um i wasn't expecting it to be this heavy honestly but i don't even know if we'll make it all the way up the hill it's okay it's, it's probably fine so we're going down here and i like this these straps this trailer's working good um look that front end rises up a little too i like that um the hill climb is over by number six watch is the place we're actually logging at right now this is a completely different safe game so we won't have our logging equipment there though but we'll keep going and and again this is just mods this isn't like I, if i say the dodge cummins has the most power after i review all three of these in the game i'm not saying dodge cummins in real life has the most power i'm not saying that i'm just saying like in the game this had the most power you know that's how it is and uh, i'll probably not even choose a truck i'll probably leave it up to you guys in the comment section we're gonna go full throttle right here, no timer, nothing. I'm just gonna kinda uh see what see what see what happens type of thing. We'll kinda get that out of the way. There we go. Full throttle! Come on! Oh shoot, she's taking off a little fat. oh there we go. We're getting some speed. We're getting some speed. We're still going up. Slowly going up on speed. And we're gonna hit this and we're gonna we'll probably gain a lot more speed. Then we gotta go around a big curve and then it gets really freaking steep, which I don't know. I'm I'm just full throttle along the way. If we get going too fast, I will lay off the throttle. Um, yeah, because I don't want to tip this, but I'm full throttle all the way. Full throttle, full throttle. Okay, we're getting a little bumpy. It's it's handling good. It's handling good. Up the hill. Holy crap. Hopefully, I don't go flying off the cliff. I did lay off throttle just for a second there. Uh, okay, we're laying off throttle a little bit here. We got to we gotta lay off throttle a little bit. Um, I'm kind of taking bad turns and stuff and bad routes. But we got to kind of lay off the throttle. We're spinning. Our tires were spinning there for a second back there. We're getting up it. Oh, I should have tested what the top speed was. Who, uh, what truck hit the top speed? Um, I think this hit 60 miles an hour. It could have went higher. I'm not sure. I'd have to go look back. But we made it there, and that was kind of hard on the truck. But uh, we were just full throttle, hammered down the whole way, rolling coal up that hill. That was freaking awesome. Nice. And then we're gonna go down down the hill, test out the braking, everything like that. We're gonna swing around. This is where our logging spot is. If you guys don't remember. This trailer actually works perfect for testing, I feel like, too. I don't know. I think this Dodge Cummins has a ton of power. And I think... Because uh, I, if I remember right, the Chevy Duramax 4 Power Stroke didn't have that crazy of power. They had good power and stuff. But uh, we'll see, I guess. So just going down the hill, testing and braking. It, it, it's honestly good. Like, it's losing speed. We're losing speed. I'm not even on the throttle. Like, I have to go on the throttle. Otherwise, we'll stop. That's, that's pretty nice. Oh god, we went sliding a little bit there, and then we're going around this, oh, we're good. See, we got some tires spinning around here and stuff, and I kind of took a bad route, and I went over the rocks, which I should not have done at all. Um, also, for those of you guys who are enjoying the logging, um, the logging videos, if you haven't watched any logging videos, I recommend you go watch them, but um, for those of you guys who are enjoying the logging videos, you guys know about our last video and how number, we are on number six, even though number five, the spot five, one, um, because it was a really far distance and we wanted to throw a bridge in, but we weren't able to get the bridge in the game. I think I may have found a fix to that to get a bridge in the game, so we may be moving to spot five. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. That will either be tomorrow's video or the next video after that. Uh, either tomorrow or either Wednesday's or Thursday's video, I'm thinking. But we try to do a logging in every other day, probably, because we enjoy it and uh, it seems like you guys are enjoying it too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this Dodge Commons. And we're going to, oh, I have my uh, skid loader still. I thought I was going to need that grapple for to throw a log over top, but it uh, turns out I don't need that. So now we are going to sell that Cummins. Pull forward a little bit, sell it, and we're going to trade it out. Slide it over, Cummins, you are, sorry, you are gone. And what are we buying now? Uh, we'll buy the Power Stroke, Keen Ranch. Keen Ranch. $69,000. What was the Cummins? Cummins. 12000 And I might, I, and I may say like Ford or Cummins or Power Stroke. Like if I'm like, let's grab the Cummins. Let's grab the Cummins. Well, you guys are like, what's a Cummins? Maybe some of you guys are like, what's a Cummins? Uh, well, that's uh, the Dodge truck and stuff. So I'm just calling them by their diesel uh, engine name. So Power Stroke. Here's the Power Stroke, even though it's a... Ford F-350. That's sometimes how I call it for those of you guys who are new um, to watching these type of videos. So we'll back up, connect it, got her connected, and this seems to have a lot of power right away. 
right when I stepped on the gas, that thing freaking took off. Okay, now we're going to swing around and we're going to head to the hill. And it's nice that we have those straps. Okay, the only thing I don't like, and this doesn't this doesn't affect towing or anything. The only thing I don't like is when I'm trying to like go around the truck. It'll sometimes like zoom in weird, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Like you'll you'll see it. Yeah, like right there. Like I'm not doing that, man. I'm not trying to do that. But oh my gosh, why do you keep doing that? Ah, oh, shoot! I can't get out of it. Okay, we got out of it. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, full throttle. Right, let's come to a complete stop, and then we'll go full throttle. I'm trying to get to the exact same spot we started about. Okay, here we go. Full throttle. Come on, Power Stroke. What you got? What you got? Full throttle. All the way up. You can see our other paths we took. I'll try to stay on those, uh, stay around those tracks. It seems to be going good. We already hit 60 miles an hour. Okay, that's definitely faster than the coming. Sorry about that view, guys. Oh, my gosh. I try, I'm trying not to do that. Okay, we better lay off the throttle a little bit. We had to lay off the throttle a little bit. I did take a different route slightly. Kind of went wide there, but that's fine. Um, So we're going to take the inside here. Oh, shoot. I got to lay off throttle. We're going way too fast. We're going way too fast. I thought I was going to tip there for a second. It may not look like we're going as fast because I'm zoomed out so far, but we are. Trust me. Okay, the power strokes seem to have more power getting up that hill. Honestly, it just put the hammer freaking down. Holy crap, we got there fast. I should have done it like an actual timer to check out the time, but that that was that was quick. That was honestly really quick. Okay, we got to stop. We got to break. Holy crap. We were going fast. Jeez. And there's, there could be tons and tons of, uh, like one could be modded and stuff. One could have different tires. You know, there's tons of different variables that are affecting this, so. Um, I'm going to let you guys decide. In the comment section when I post this video, though, I'm going to be like, like this comment for Power Stroke. Like this comment for Cummins. Like this comment for Duramax. And that'll tell me uh, what you guys are more of a fan of and what you guys th actually think won this video. I'd be interested. Okay. And I always try to do this, like, on every game. I did I did this challenge for Farming Simulator 2015. I try to compare the three major truck brands. Of course, there is Toyota. Toyota may make a diesel engine. There could be a... Um, I'm trying to think of another truck. I know there's Cummins Titan, which, you know, is a Cummins still, so I'll kind of leave it out. But now we're going to go with the Duramax, the finale, the Duramax, see what the Duramax can do. And when I spawn this Duramax, it's going to be straight upward, so I'm going to have to reset it right away. I'll show you guys all that. Um, but uh, Both these, F3, the F350 and the Duramax is by Keen Farms. So, uh, all the links to these trucks and trailer and the map will be in the description below. Yeah. So, we're going to stop right here and unhook it. Drop it. There we go. And we're going to trade her in for the Duramax. Let's go to the garage. Check her out. And set her. Okay, somebody's... Oh, that's leased items. That's where our leased items were for the logging operation. You guys were telling me that I got tons of hate or tons of comments being like, oh, you're an idiot. You don't know where the leased items are. I did, honestly did not know where the leased items were. We'll go to the shop and check out for some new 16 high country. Yeah, baby. There we go. 67 grand, so it was uh, two grand cheaper than the... Holy... Okay, let's check out the horsepower. 1,103 freaking horsepower. Oh, God. 13... 120 horsepower. Oh, 470. Okay. Yeah, these had double the horsepower, which they could have been, I don't know. So they, I mean, they, the creators just probably make them like that. Look at that. It's just, oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to click over, go to this, and hit reset. And right when I spawn it, too, I will not be able to go in front. As you can see, there's something invisible blocking it, so we're going to have to back up. And go around it. But we got our high country. It, I think it has the same rims as the F-350. Um, it looks like it. Same tires and stuff. So uh, that's pretty even there. But Dodge Cummins has a different style of rims and stuff. Okay, we're going to keep backing her up. And then we'll swing around. So uh, was this the most... No, the Power Stroke was the most horsepower. This had 1,100 horsepower. Power Stroke had 1,300 horsepower. Which is crazy i think i think these come don't quote me on it guys too these these trucks i think come with like i don't know now i honestly wouldn't know I, i'm gonna throw a guess out there uh 
five, six hundred horsepower, seven hundred horsepower. I don't know how much uh, foot pounds of torque they come with. Around five hundred or something. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Those are just I'm just throwing est estimates, random numbers. Um, so here we go. Chevy Duramax, let's take off. There we go. Put the hammer down all the way. And we're going to try to take the same route as we did with the Power Stroke and Cummins. It's a little slower, I feel like. It's definitely a little slower. Um, I think it's in between the Cummins and Power Stroke. I think that Power Stroke had a ton of power um, going up this hill. Oh, we, we are hitting 60s. I remember we did hit 60s with the Power Stroke. Um, so we're swinging wide. I'm still going to go full throttle. Um, I'll tell you guys if I lay off throttle. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Oh, shoot, kind of zoomed in weird there. Okay, we got to lay off throttle. We're we're going to go sit. We're going to flip there almost, I think. Maybe not. Okay, we got to lay off throttle again. And full throttle all the way up. And we'll, f we'll probably go full throttle to finish. Nice. It's climbing. It's climbing. Oh, we were losing for a second there. Oh, we're losing speed here, but I think we're going to make it easily. Duramax. Ho, ho, ho. And we're just about to the top. This, this I love this mountain climb. It's so freaking sweet going up this mountain climb. I love it. Okay, Duramax did pretty good, and we get 70 miles an hour there at the end. Wow, 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 wow. So I'm gonna put in the comment section, uh, the comment, comment like, uh, like for Duramax, like for Power Stroke, and like for Cummins. We're gonna see what one you guys thought was better. I'm not gonna give my opinion. Um, I liked how the Cummins handled. I really liked how the Cummins handled and how it looks. Which looks are aren't a. Uh, we're not doing looks in this video, but I'm just gonna say I kind of liked the, the way the Cummins looked. Um, but. Cummins was definitely the slowest up the hill. I'll give you that. And the Power Stroke, I think, was the fastest with Duramax in the middle. Uh, but kind of tell me what you guys uh, like in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next vid. Thanks, guys.